Here's the field for the ninth race. This the second division of the Millen Acres Pacing Series. Two of fillies. Each division racing one mile, a purse of $3,000. The one, you betcha, I betcha. Well, by Jim Cunningham and our little stable of Washington Courthouse, Delvin Criswell trains, Brad Hanners drives. Number two, Look Sinja. The by Jack Swagler of Lebanon, Kevin Brown trains, Mike Wilder drives. Number three, Noble Bikini. By Sue Gordon Curtis of Galloway, Charles Curtis is the uh, trainer, Darren Mauser up. The four, Marianne Hall, owned by Wallet Hall Limited of Lexington. Robert Stewart trains and drives. Number five, Starlight Melody, owned by Peter and Gail McCann of Groveport. Chad Norman, the trainer for Jeff Out. Number six, Carol G., owned by Jack Ader of Clarksburg. Dan Ader trains, Ryan Holton drives. Number seven, Stace and Stevie, owned by Earl Ingle of Dunbrook, Ohio. Tom Horner Jr. trains for Randy Tharps. And the eight Colleen's Candy Cam. Oh, by Robert and Sandra Johnson of Pompano Beach, Florida. Doug Loud, the trainer Dave Miller in the Sonky. Win play show perfecta and uh, trifecta wagering. Post time, eight minutes. Eight minutes to post. Second division, Millen Acres pacing series. Alana get moving in. On the back stretch, there they go. And they're off, and it's Carol G from the outside as she sent first for the lead from off the rail. You betcha, I betcha, getting away second. Look, Sinja looking to drop in third, rolling quickly from the far outside comes Colleen's candy cam. At the rail and racing a fifth, it's Noble Bikini, two lengths racing sixth, Starlight Melody, followed seventh by Stacey and Stevie. The early trailer is Mary Ann Hall. They're at the first quarter mile marker, the opening panel in 28 and 4. And on the front here, it's You Betcha, I Betcha, who's taken command. Carol G to the inside, racing his second. Colleen's Candy Cam has settled in third. Looks Sinjin to the inside is fourth. Then there's a gap of about three and a half lengths to Noble Bikini, another two and a half lengths to Starlight Melody. Two lengths back, seventh to Stace and Stevie, and the uh, trailer is Mary Ann Hall. They're in straight alignment as they approach the half. Everyone following it, you betcha, I betcha. She's heavily favored here, and she leads by two, the half, and one of one and one. As they swing to the back stretch, Carol G to the inside is racing second. Colleen's Candy Cam at the bill is third. Look, Sinja to the inside, racing fourth. And now to the outside, moving a first up fifth. Here comes Noble Bikini and quickly taking the covers. Sixth is Starlight Melody. Pace begins to pick up here as they race into the final third. And on the front, you betcha, I betcha. Off the record win last week with a comfortable two length advantage here. Three quarters, 131 and four. Around the final third, and you betcha, I betcha. Will be tough to beat here on the inside and racing a second. It's Carol G, now less than an eighth of a mile ago, and you betcha, I betcha, sprinting home. Carol G is still there within striking distance. Colleen's candy cam to the inside is third, but you betcha, I betcha, does it again here. Carol G finishing second, and Colleen's candy cam third. A mile in two minutes. Here is the official winner of the ninth race, second division, first leg of the Millen Acres Pacing Series, the one you betcha, I betcha, a daughter of Beach Tell. From a Falcon Almahurst mare, Falcons Gloria, held by Jim Cunningham in our little stable of Washington Courthouse, Delvin Criswell trains, Brad Hanners in the sulky. You betcha, I betcha, recording her second career win this evening, pacing that mile handily in two minutes flat. Order finish, you betcha, I betcha, the winner, looks in Jeff 5, Noble Bikini 7, Mary Ann Hall 8, Starlight Melody 6, Carol G 2, Stace and Stevie 4, and Colleen's Candy Cam 3.